Hi guys, today I'm going to be working with the ceramic material. It's a castable ceramic, powdered ceramic, and it has a liquid binder that you mix with the powder. Um, this is for making small parts that uh, need to withstand high temperature. In this case, it says it's uh, able to withstand 3000 degrees Fahrenheit from just the room temperature cure, meaning uh, after it hardens, you take it out of your mold, it should be able to withstand that kind of temperature. Um, I'm going to be uh, heat curing this um, in a high temperature just to make it stronger. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So we'll be mixing this into rubber molds. There's a company name there. It's a fine powder, so you need to use a dust mask if you're using this. So I'm going to get started, guys. I'm going to get the molds out, and I'll show you guys the molds, and then we'll start mixing this um, together here. So here's a look at three that I just poured up. Still very wet. I'm going to let these sit overnight. And what I like to do is take a paper towel and 
place it on the wet ceramic material so that uh, the paper towel will absorb the material. Um, found that to to help in the drying of this of this material. I've got one here that I need to adjust a little bit here. All the this is not quite level, this one here, so I'm going to try to level it out a little bit so that all the material doesn't uh, move to one side. So I'm going to work on that, guys, and uh, like I said, take the paper towel and I'll show you that in just a second. All right, I'm going to be doing a post cure of these uh, ceramic pieces here. And to do that, you will need a kiln or a burnout furnace. Um, I've got a burnout furnace here today. And I'm going to be curing these at 800 degrees for uh, three or four hours. And to get to 800 degrees, I'm going to be going at 200 degree increments every hour. Once I get to 800, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to move it up to 1750 degrees Fahrenheit and let them heat soak for about two hours at 1750. And once we get to about 800 degrees, guys, I will. Uh, let you see what that looks like inside the oven and then we'll bump it up to 1750. Okay, the parts have cooled down now, so I'm going to take them out of the furnace. And then we'll take a look at them. And here's a closer look at the ceramic pieces after they've been cured. Here's one of the heavier pieces. 
those nice sharp corners and cracking You can see where I placed the paper towel and it, it dried. I can take some sandpaper and smooth that off. Here's a look at some of the smaller pieces. So you can see the material is pretty hard after it's cured. The next thing I'll be doing is um, a quick fire test. And I'm going to take this tray here, put the small parts on the tray, then I will fire this in a porcelain oven um, up to 1710 degrees Fahrenheit for um, about the whole heating process will take about eight to nine minutes so uh, let's try that test now Small parts here look very good. I don't see any slumping. Still very sharp. There's no tearing in them. Same with the tray here. So, uh, worked out very well. Still the same color. Uh, the white here as it was before. So there you have it guys, workable high heat ceramic material, um, castable, that you can uh, produce small parts if you're looking for a high temperature um, castable material, ceramic material. There is one thing I'd like to try, maybe in this video or maybe the next, and that will be a torch test. 
um, I would like to find the material to make um, to make a crucible out of for melting gold and other alloys. So uh, I may take one of the trays here and put some gold here and try to melt the gold on the uh, tray and see if, uh, if it will withhold um, a torch. So uh, I'll either try that in this video, uh, extended portion of this video or another video.